One of the things I've noticed during my art career is that I draw much better when I'm feeling happy and in the moment. And these warm-ups help me arrive to my drawing session and they help me get ready and excited about drawing. They are particularly helpful on those days that my mind feels restless. Those days when my phone doesn't seem to allow me to start drawing. Sometimes, before I draw, I experience a surge of procrastination. And this might be because I've been spending time comparing myself to other artists and I just don't feel like I'm good enough. Every artist suffers from this, even if it's a little bit. But it's important to catch yourself and to make an effort to change your mindset. We have to remember that we're all in a different part of our journey. And a much better thing to do is to admire the things you like from other artists and think of ways you can apply those things you like to your own work. Focus on your own artistic journey and allow yourself to experiment and have fun. Instead of being hard on yourself because of someone else's artistic journey. When I catch myself procrastinating, I leave my phone in another room, play some music that I love, take deep breaths and do these hand movements. I know this might seem a bit silly, but you'd be surprised by how many times a few simple deep breaths have gotten me disconnected from the nexus <laughs> and connected to my artistic self. They always help me get into a creative mindset and get to drawing. When you draw, you use and control your muscles in specific and delicate ways. And to do this right, these muscles need to be awake. So to start, let's give our hands a stretch together. Let's start by shaking our hands. Then stretch each finger. Open and close your hands. Now let's move to our wrists, elbows and shoulders. I like to stretch the back and the neck. Take deep breaths during this part. This will help you feel more present. Now that the body is awake, let's start to draw some lines. It's important for me that we work on the most basic parts of drawing. Lines are just that. Lines are the foundation of everything that we will draw in the future. And it's important that we're able to feel comfortable when drawing lines. I remember when I first started, I would grab my pencil really hard and make lines very slowly. And this was because I was trying to make the perfect line. What I didn't know back then is that the more lines I drew, the better I will become. So it's not really about the quality of that one line that I'm making, but it's really about the quantity of the lines that I make. The more lines you draw, the better you will be at drawing. Too many people like to start drawing difficult things without being able to draw lines. So let's work on this together. I'll start by filling up a whole layer with vertical lines. These lines don't need to be perfect. I'm just trying to connect with my body before I start with a more serious drawing. It's also important that you try different grips from your pencil. The different ways that you grab your pencil are also going to be very important for when you're drawing. So it's important at this point that you try as many grips of the pencil as you can and figure out which one feels more comfortable for you. I usually like grabbing my pencil a bit loose and relaxed. But if I'm going to work on details, I grab my pencil differently, with a bit more pressure. It's important that you experiment for yourself and figure out what works for you. Another thing that usually slows me down before I draw is my own perfectionism. I used to get super frustrated when I tried drawing lines and they weren't perfect. So I would stop drawing lines altogether and spend sometimes weeks without drawing anything. And of course, this would make my skills get rusty, which would make me feel frustrated again. And on and on went the vicious cycle. Until I realized that my lines don't need to be perfect. And the more I make, the better I'll get at drawing. Allow your hand to make marks freely and without any pressure. And the more marks you make, the happier you'll be with them. Once I'm done with the page of vertical lines, I'll do the same for horizontal lines. I'll make different sizes of lines and try not to focus on them being perfect. Then a page of different diagonal lines.
Once I'm done with this, I'll start by drawing quick curved lines. I'll draw curves in different directions, with different sizes and curves. Don't think too much, just put your pencil on the screen and make marks. To finish the warm-ups, I'll fill a page with loose and fluid figure eights. This is my ritual when I'm going to start drawing. This ritual helps me get into the mindset of drawing and creating. I used to just sit down and start drawing, but I would often feel like my hands weren't acting like I wanted them to. Turns out I just needed to warm up. So now it's your turn. Using the worksheets in this video, fill some pages with vertical lines, horizontal lines, diagonal lines, quick curves, and with loose figure eights. You can do more layers if you want. The idea is that by the end you feel comfortable enough to draw lines without expecting them to be perfect. Remember that the more lines you draw, the more confident you'll feel at drawing. And the more confident you feel, the happier you'll be with your art. It all comes with dedicated practice and time. So put on your favorite music and have fun with these warm-ups. <laughs>